inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hey, beautiful ladies. It is awesome to be here. I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. It's been a fabulous year celebrating with you all. Uh, having tears, laughs, cry, all of that stuff from the podcast. The guests have been amazing. We're getting closer and closer to the end of season two. And it is time to have another important conversation. I want to talk about marketing. Those of you that listen to Samoa and I on one of her interviews, she's talked a lot about how you need to have a strong marketing message on your website. But on the very last one we did, we veered off on its tangent and we weren't just talking about marketing on your website. We were talking about marketing in general. And I want to give you guys some really solid feedback. I understand you want things to be as easy as they possibly can in your business. It's very wise to outsource and to have other people do menial tasks that you can't do. You hear the gurus say that. However, the reality is for many people investing, that's not an option. For many people, even if the money is there to invest, you will be doing it prematurely. And I want to talk to you about this. My Last coach that I worked with, he even emphasized, he was like, master your marketing message. He was like, you make sure that you hone your own message before you outsource. And I'm saying the same thing to you. And here's why. The average person is going to ask you for very technical or traditional data. You know, who's your ideal client? Oh, she's a woman. She's anywhere between, you know, 24 and 45. And she she may be married or single, may or may not have kids. And and that's not going to cut it. You know, they're going to get that information. They may ask you specifically, what do you sell? Because they know how to hashtag certain content. If they're doing ads, they understand, you know, which demographics to reach out to and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, your marketing efforts will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And not only because you don't have a clue for real, for real, what the answers to their questions are. You're typically giving them answers of what you perceive your ideal client will be. Or even if you've had a couple of people, you think that that's what it will be. But the data will truly come in actually serving more women. But it's even deeper than that. Marketing is powerful when people know who you are. I had a fabulous conversation with a woman 
who signed up for my networking event that I've started. And she was asking about, you know, the structure of the networking group. Do we or don't we have swag bags? And I was like, let's hop on a call and talk to each other. And I wanted her to understand how I feel about intimacy. I didn't use these words, but I wanted her to understand my brand. I want to always be a part of something where women are genuinely connecting building real relationships and are being educated so that they thrive in business. And when we were talking, one of the things she said to me was, you know, I am a graphic slash web designer. And one of the things that made me say, I want to go to this woman's event is because I see that you've obviously invested in your brand. I saw it through and through on your website. Big ups to you, Samoa. And I was like, oh, wow, great. Thank you. She said, but it wasn't just the fact that your website looks good. It was obvious that you invested in it. So you really care about your brand. And from there, we started having this conversation about, yeah, the reason why I like working with the woman that I work with is because she literally knows me and had the objective of translating my personality onto that website. I could pass marketing on to someone else because I have a plethora of different forms of copy. I have multiple items. I know what kind of attitude I like. I know when certain words are used, I'm like, eh, no, don't say that. That's not me. As a matter of fact, my husband works with me because he is around me all the time and he truly understands not just his wife, but the brand for the business. And for that reason, if we were to ever hire someone, we can train them to take over that part. Some of you are too quick to just say, hey, will you handle my posting? Listen, it's not the pretty graphics. It's not whether or not you've got pictures of you. It's none of those things. It's about what are you doing that screams, here I am, exactly what you've been looking for right here. Can they feel that message through the picture? Will they feel that message through the words? And when they hear the words, will it resonate with the people in their spirit because they feel your spirit hitting them? Or will they hear the spirit of the person that's creating the copy? And then when they come to work with you, they feel like they've been duped and they're like, who is this person? Because this isn't who I wanted to work with. Someone that's going to handle your marketing needs to be able to mimic your brand. And if you have a hard time coming up with content, if you have a hard time advertising yourself and marketing gets on your nerves, then I promise you it's because you don't have a strong enough handle on your brand. Not that Facebook Live is necessary for everybody, but most of my clients thrive in live video because of the way that I teach them to hone their message. And they eventually get to a point where they're like, oh my God, if they don't go live for two days, they will literally feel guilty and just push play and go live. They don't have to think about it. They know who they are. They know what they're doing. They know who they're serving. They know what kind of message they want to convey. They know how quickly they need things to move. They have goals and set aside for how much money it is that they want to make. So, you know, Hey, you gotta, you gotta make a decision. You gotta make a decision to learn your own craft, hone your message, master it. As my previous coach said, don't turn your marketing over to someone else when you don't know it for yourself, because your marketing is directly connected to your money. And you need to be attached to anything that's going to bring in your money. Simple message, master your marketing message before you pass it on. Okay, that's your message for the day. I love you, ladies. You all have a great day. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here, our mantra is... Real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list, hit me up, and I got you. 
Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher. Unlock the fire in you.